Hounds at Welk. Spider crab. Never turn your back to the sea. I'm fucking freezing. Right everybody, so we're sort of rough water bassing today. And as you can see, a lot of people probably wouldn't bother fishing in this. But bass actually like this sort of conditions because um, stirs up the bottom and this makes it easy for them to pick off look, crabs and things so water's a bit it's quite dark quite cloudy sort of water but we will see we will see if there's one there or not just gotta watch out for a growler so you get a set come through every sort of 20 minutes or so of unusually large waves just remember not to get too close to the um too close to the ocean. I'm fortunate because I got the wind over my shoulder so I can stand a lot with a short little rod like this I can stand back quite away from the water's edge and sort of still fish. Um, yeah so you just got to be mindful and um, you've got the drag set right as well so if you go get a fish on you can see how difficult it's going to be to land it so the best thing to do is when you get one or fortunate enough to get one grab hold of the leader and pull the fish up by the leader not your line well mine's eight pound braid so the conditions that i'd be honest today are sitting right on the fence but see when the tide when you get slack water that can sometimes um settle the sea down even more so you haven't got wind against tide and things like that. So there's certain things which might come to your come to your favour if you can if you can just persevere with it. You can find that the the, the good time to fish can coincide with the, the weather coming a bit. You know, the sea can flatten out a bit more. So you you, know, you mustn't sort of sometimes you look at it and you give up straight away. But you've got to look at it and think, well, you know, maybe in the next few hours that might that might come right. You know what I'm saying? So, this is a 24 gram metal. Now, in, in these conditions, you've got to keep an eye on your trebles because they get blunt very quickly. So, every few casts, just put your finger on the treble just to make sure that it's because they've got to be sharp, you see. If you've got blunt hooks or blunt ish hooks, that's the difference between a fish being on and just not getting hooked up properly. They've got to be razor sharp. So, I'm fishing an area where I've caught one or two before. You see how calm it's gone, look, in between the lull. You know, so it's still, it's still sort of happening. You never turn your back to the waves in these conditions. If you've got a tangle or something, never turn your back. You get a tangle or something just walk back up the beach at harm's way but there's one or two of these waves here they're quite big so we just we've got quite an undertow in this so it's a real slow retrieve but if you can look at the end of my rod tip that's um that's buffeting away so it's doing its job got some weed there So, got a nice bass. Nice condition bass. So,
Come on, fishy. Yeah, that's a decent one. Wave. Mindful of the um, the seagulls as well when you cast them with braid, if you can. It's quite common to sort of run into a seagull, and there's nothing worse than getting braid caught up in a bloody seagull or a turn or something like that. Keeping your hooks. Uh, if I'm getting blunt, it's just that when you when you retrieve, wait for a wave to come up to you. Wait, wait, don't don't bring up your lure through the sand here. Wait for a wave, like now now retrieve your lure so the barbs stay away from the sand because that's what's going to blunt your hooks. So you've got to have some spares with you. So as long as you're getting a good distance, a reasonable distance. So you look at these sort of conditions and you know you'd, you'd say no nah, this is too difficult to fish or there's none there or whatever but i can tell you they're there they will be there so you can just wind it up you can't avoid sometimes you can't avoid it like here we're getting the hooks blunt a bit there. Slightly longer rod. Right. So out the tangles. We're just Looking him out. Slow retrieve. It's a light lure this one, it's about 14 grams, so you need to let it sink a little bit. There's some undertow there, just a very slow retrieve. As long as you're getting that flutter at the end, end, end of your rod tip, and that's doing its job. Don't want to look. Uh. A little bit of weed out there. Mucky water. It's a neat, strong, strong easterly um, yesterday. So we're we're fishing early, but uh, we'll watch out for the growlers as well. Watch out not to get dragged in. braids the breakers sort of catch the braid and it speeds up the lure drags it round so it's just sort of stop and sort of, if you feel the undertow stop retrieving it's uh yeah I'll, I'll be honest totally challenging conditions to sort of stay in control of it but it's about sort of sort of keep persevering until you Cold, awkward conditions. Um, we've had one fish. Uh, it's just been, yeah, very, very difficult. But you know, it's uh, finally um, I'm pulling the plug. It's just so cold. Um, conditions just so difficult, and um, I'm not actually sure what the time is.
I forgot my watch and I always like to keep a track of what the time is doing. Um, so yeah, it's just um, it's just far too difficult to sort of, it's almost like not really that enjoyable. It's getting so cold. And, um, but there you go, we've had one fish. And um, yeah, it's still been, still been good, but it's like, just do with it a little bit warmer, you know? Or we should come a bit more, put the thermals on, something like that. Uh, yeah so uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe and um, I'll see you again with another bit okay take care